What's going on guys? It's New York Prepper here and today I'm going on a bear hunt. I'm gonna be going bear hunting in an area where my dad saw a huge bear last year when he was deer hunting. He saw what he thinks was a 600 pound male bear within 20 yards of him. It ran in front of him. So I'm gonna go to that area again. If you guys missed uh, some of my earlier videos from earlier this year, I went uh, to this area for the early bear season. So um, I'm gonna go there now. So I'm going there now and we're gonna see what happens. Maybe I'll uh, run into that big bear that my dad saw. Um, it's getting close to the end of the bear season or big game season here in the southern zone of New York. So it's only just one more week left before the season closes, but luckily the weather's been pretty mild, so I do believe I'll, I'll see something. All right guys, so I hope you enjoy the video. All right guys, I got to the uh, hunting spot. I've been hunting this property for probably 10 years now. Um, I've seen a lot of bears here. I had a close encounter with a big bear uh, in like 2010. I saw a huge bear here one time, uh, probably about a 400 pounder. So, uh, and my dad saw that big bear too. So it's a great hunting spot. Um, anytime I uh, go over here into this area, I always carry some kind of protection as a backup to my uh, hunting rifle. How's it going? Got some uh, bikers here, uh, biking on the road. Um, I always carry some kind of pistol for backup, just in case uh, you know you find yourself in a situation where you don't have your rifle on you, which is uh, what happened with my dad in the fall time last year. Um, he was hunting deer. He usually hunts deer over here. He never goes bear hunting here, and. Uh, you know, he was just uh, taking a nap, and he put his shotgun down uh, next to him, and he saw this bear come out of the brush 20 yards in front of him, and he had nothing on him, and his shotgun was, you know, maybe three or four feet next away from him, next to him, and, uh, you know, luckily the bear didn't charge directly at him. Um, seemed like the bear was interested in some gut piles that weren't too far away, left by some hunters. But if that bear decided to charge, you know, he would have been out of luck because, uh, you know, he didn't have anything on him. And so that's why it's good to have some kind of uh, big bore revolver on you. You know, when you're hunting bears, even black bears, um, you know, it's a whole different type of hunting. You know, you're, you're hunting an animal that could potentially kill you. Um, and uh, bears are known to get mad when you shoot them. So, uh, you know, you always want to have some kind of backup, all right? So that's one of my big tips for you guys if you decide to go bear hunting. You know, you don't have to be in Alaska uh, to, to carry uh, bear protection on you. You know, bears are all over the United States and uh, not too far away from here, actually. A uh, hiker in New Jersey was stalked and killed and partially consumed by a male black bear, so... Um, you don't you just because you don't live in Alaska doesn't mean that you don't have to carry protection on you All right, so uh, I'll show you the rifle that I'm using today. I'm using a 416 Ruger Which is a, a big bore rifle. I was thinking of taking my 300 Win Mag, but uh, I wanted something with a little larger larger uh, Diameter and bigger bullets that you know we're gonna is gonna do more damage so uh, I like to carry my bigger rifles when I go for bear you know just in case um, you know you want to decisively uh, stop an animal you want to decisively humanely kill it you know you don't want to wound it and have it run for hundreds of yards and you know have it suffer you know there's a lot of guys that try to go bear hunting and they use you know white tail hunting equipment and that's just to me that's just not uh, you know proper you know if you're hunting a bear you should be using at least a 3006 with 200 grain bullets or larger even if it's a black bear uh, even black bears can be very tough and uh, in this part of New York where I'm hunting actually has the biggest bears um, in all of New York and uh, 
some of the record bears are shot here every year and last year in this town that I'm in some guy shot a 650 pound black bear and that's the dressed weight okay 650 pounds dressed okay so that's probably you're looking at a live weight of about 700 pounds okay that's a big bear all right I don't care if it's black brown or whatever you know that's a 700 pound animal so you have to use the right tools for the job and if you're not uh, willing to use the right tools for the job then you shouldn't attempt the job you know that's just my opinion but um, you know if you're serious about hunting bear you got to get yourself a big boar you know and uh, use heavy bullets so you know you want to humanely stop a bear bears have very big bones big muscles and especially now in the fall time you know bears have a huge fat layer they could have up to five inches of fat um, so you got to punch through all that fat then you got to punch through the muscle then you got huge bones to to deal with okay so if you're shooting a little uh, 270 or something like that I mean yeah you you could you will potentially kill the bear but it's not gonna humanely kill the bear you know even uh, with good shot placement the bears gonna run and you may have to put a few shots into it so you know it's bigger is always better when you're dealing with bears so alright so let me show you what I'm using here for my rifle so this is the 416 Ruger alright just a basic bolt-action rifle Ruger guide gun got a low power scope on here shot distances over here are, uh, not more than a hundred yards um, it's very dense brush some areas even less so I usually keep my scope on two power um, I feel like two power gives me the best uh, balance between close range and medium range you know with two power I could easily hit 50 yards um, and still make a good shot this is the 416 Ruger it's a huge cartridge if you guys haven't seen my uh, videos I've uh, shot this through a two foot diameter piece of oak for, uh, oak firewood so this thing can really penetrate it's a 400 grain bullet here with a steel jacket and it's got this uh, flat nose okay so this is the ammo that I'm gonna be using so uh, I'm gonna hike in about two miles or so and my dad's already been in the woods since the morning time and he's waiting for me I got a walkie-talkie so when I get in there I'm gonna walkie-talkie him and we're gonna rendezvous and uh, see what happens and you know bears are typically nocturnal animals so uh, your best chances of seeing a bear is usually in the evening time or in the morning time but especially in the evening time they they uh, they like to move around in the dark so that's your best chances to see a bear and right now it's in the early afternoon and uh, you know we actually got some uh, snowflakes coming down some flurries here so uh, temperatures about 30 degrees so stick around guys and join me on my hunt and let's see what happens it's pretty cold outside today guys temps are in the upper 20s here a little bit of flurries here the sky's partly cloudy as you can see there's a good good strong wind today so uh, I gotta be mindful of my scent and uh, I got some uh, some lure, some bear lure that I'm going to use, which is legal in New York State. You can buy like a strong, smelly substance, and uh, it's legal to use in New York. But you're not allowed to bait bears in New York, which is fine with me. I think uh, baiting bears is not really fair chase, in my opinion. Um, you know, part of hunting is the stalking aspect you know and just baiting bears is just like shooting fish in a barrel but so I'll show you guys uh, what the terrain looks like here it's very dense and uh, that's another reason why you know using a big bore rifle is good is good for uh, bear country because bears like thick terrain and uh, if you use like a lighter bullet with a smaller diameter like a 30 caliber rifle or something along those lines it's more easily deflected by branches and brush versus uh, a big bore uh, rifle with or big bore cartridge 
with a flat nose or round nose will punch right through any kind of heavy cover so that's why a big bore uh, cartridge is preferred for bears so if you're serious about bear hunting you gotta pony up the money and invest in a 4570 or 375 Ruger even a 338 Win Mag or you can go as big as mine which is a 416 Ruger um, and the 416 Ruger will give you the ability to go to Africa so all right guys stay tuned I'll show you some of this terrain here all right guys look at how thick the terrain is over here look at this this is all mountain laurel look at this mountain laurel here this is the area I'm hunting and it opens up a little bit later on but it's pretty much this is the type of terrain I'm dealing with so that's why you want to have a good low power scope um, actually over here I see some bear bear marks over here on the tree it's very old but look at this see this right here that's a bear all right the bear was uh, marking its territory here I've seen this many times before they usually do this on hiking trails because they they use the trails as a highway for them too you know bears they don't like to go through dense terrain if they don't have to so they use hiking trails and you'll sometimes you'll see in areas like this that are really really secluded and brushy you'll see these uh, bear marks on the tree okay and what they're doing is they're marking their uh, territory okay so if you see one of these and it's fresh that means there's a bear in the area all right and he's the bears letting you know and every other bear in the area know that this is his his territory so that's a good sign right there but look at this terrain guys very thick very dense and uh, you know one thing about bears is that um, you really have to be uh, very very alert because they're very quiet and you know all the times I've seen bears um, I didn't even know they were there until I saw them running away and uh, you know they're extremely quiet because they have pads on their feet so you don't even know that they're there until they're really close and there could even be a bear bedded down somewhere and you won't even know he's there until you're right in front of him and you know on a windy day like today when uh, you can't really the bear won't hear you you could literally walk right onto a bear in a place like this that's really brushy so you always have to be ready to uh, shoot quickly and get that safety off and put a round down range so all right guys stay tuned The scenery guys I just want to show you some of the scenery here 
Look at this beautiful area here. Look at the mountain in the back. Nobody here today except me and my dad, so maybe we'll get lucky. Some flurries coming down. As you see, it's very thick. Beautiful day, early winter day. Get my rifle. Almost near my spot now, so gotta be very quiet. We're gonna head down in that direction over there. I'm gonna radio my dad now and meet up with him. Stand by. Now a lot of guys today, a lot of hunters today, I feel like they've lost the art of stalking. Nobody stalks anymore. Everybody just buys a tree stand, puts a tree stand up. They just literally hike to their stand and they just sit in their stand all day. You know, to me that's not really hunting. To me that's just shooting. It's more shooting than hunting. Hunting to me means being connected to the land. Feeling the earth under your feet using the terrain around you to stalk your prey becoming one with your terrain and your surroundings that's hunting to me real hunting is stalking using your feet walking that's hunting and i feel like a lot of guys have lost the art of stalking and uh it's pretty sad all right guys I rendezvoused with my dad. We're gonna head down in that direction towards that thicker area where the laurels are and some white pines. I got my compass set. We're not gonna go that far. The wind is blowing towards that brush, so I'm gonna tie up my uh, scent lure, see if any bears come in, so stay tuned. There's my dad.
He's looking down in that direction. And I'm watching this direction here. Beautiful sky. Look at that early winter day here in upstate New York. Beautiful terrain here. What's nice about hunting is you get to see so much beautiful scenery everywhere. Alright guys, it's getting darker now but we'll see what happens. Got my Air Pro, Air Pro in, in case I gotta take a shot. It's pretty windy as you can see on my hair. Show you guys the scenery here. It's a big hill behind me. It's getting cold right now, that Arctic air is coming in. Temperature's dropping fast. my little wind marker there. It's just a piece of bark. It's just hanging off the tree. Look at the wind guys. Arctic air is coming. That wind, guys. It's gonna be a cold winter this year. Well, I didn't find a bear, but I stumbled upon a buck scrape and rub. And here's some fresh droppings here. I'll show you guys the scrape real quick. We got here is a small buck rub here. Could be a small buck, could be a big buck, but usually smaller bucks scrape smaller trees. And right over here, under this little overhanging branch, we have a scrape on the ground here. See the fresh droppings in there? And the deer scrape the leaves off in the dirt. And that's how the uh, bucks leave their scent and attract the does by doing that. But it's pretty funny that I stumbled upon this while trying to find a bear. But it's getting dark now, so I'm gonna head out. No bears, but we still got two miles of walking to do, so may run into a bear on the way back up. So let's see what happens. Look at this beautiful stream here, guys. Crystal clear water. It's from all the rain 
the last couple of days we had rain and snow. Look at this. All right guys, walking back to my car. It's getting dark, so gotta pay attention. See if there could be a bear here. Could spook one out. This is the time when bears are most active in the evening. And it's very dense over here, as you can see. So, always have to be very alert, ready to shoot in case it starts charging. All right, guys, so that ends my bear hunt for today. I may come back next weekend, the last weekend of the season, but the bears may already be in hibernation by then, so I don't know if I'll go. And uh, But I may go again, we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.